it is true that where there is no action there will be no effort true that is right hmm because effort itself is action effort itself is born out of thought and that thought is action whether or not it translates physically but is it so that for action to happen there must always be accompanying effort is that is that so if that is so then life is hell because then life is labor life is action and if action is effort then all the time you have to just keep laboring there is effortless action what is effortless action बस happens happens it हो नहीं जाए good it happens nice it happens happens without your planning without your intervention without your ownership that is the fun of life complete action yeah that is the fun hmm you don't even know whether it is complete or incomplete you don't bother to give it a name simple direct hmm like a rain drop falling down somebody has said like a flower opening in the morning hmm? just by itself it is nothing but the mind and the body expressing the source where there is mind there will be action action in the form of where there is mind there will be action action in the form of thought where there is mind there will be action action in the form of thought movement in space hmm what do you call as physical action so mind and body exist to act are you getting it that is the only way they know of being action so if they want to be in service of the self we talked of a faithful mind right what can a faithful mind do act act in the service of self act to express the self act as if it is the self the mind has become just like the self the body has become just like the self you look at him and you are reminded of something else the beyond that is the saint he speaks and you hear not only the words but also the echo of something else that is the saint because the mind and the body both are now just in the service of the self they exist only to express that they are just expressing their source hmm and that is effortless action that is effortless action 